Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with a quick little uh, DIY. It's really easy, super simple. Um, I wanted to make a wreath to go in one of my guest bathrooms and um, I wanted the decor to, or the wreath to match the decor in the bathroom. And in that bathroom, it's a beautiful shade of pink and it has sort of a Parisian theme, a French you know, theme going. And I have a lot of lavender colors in there, um, beautiful blues and things like that. So your traditional Christmas colors wouldn't work in there. So I wanted to make something that was, I guess, custom to the space. So what I did was I grabbed two of the Dollar Tree um, wreaths. I got one in the larger size and one in the small. And I want to say one is 14 inches or 15 inches and the other one's 18. I'm not sure, but you know, they have two sizes um, of these wreaths in the white and this green. So I have two of those. And then I have these ornaments, or these picks, should I say. They, were, they are floral pick ornaments, actually. I worked at Dillard's a long time ago, and that's how I learned how to do a lot of merchandising and decorating. And I picked these up after Christmas. They had them on clearance that year. And uh, I just grabbed them because they were cheap, basically. I had no idea what I was going to do with them. Well... However many years, 10, 12 years after the fact, I still had these. <laughs> so I finally come across um, a project I can use these on. So they're just, just a bag of these little, it looks like little, I don't know, lavender buds or whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what they're called. On the package, they don't even say. Well, anyway... These were $3 a piece at the time. The tags are still on here. Um, but I ended up getting them, I getting a bag of them for, well, I mean, they cost $3 individually. And the bag was 18 But I got these um, on clearance after the holiday plus my discount. So they had to be pennies, I mean, for me to get them and not know what I was going to do. And I like the fact that they're kind of dried and faded looking because that's kind of what I have going on in that bathroom. So what I'm going to do is clip these tags off and stop talking so much so we can get started. But again, this year, you know, try to shop your stash. You know, don't go out and buy a whole lot of stuff. Um, you'd be surprised what you can't find because Lord knows I did this year. I, I have so much stuff. It is unreal. I need to get rid of, start using or whatever you want to say when it comes to the stuff in my stash. Okay. So got all that off of there. Let me throw this stuff away here. All right. So what I want to do is just kind of. Twist these together, use the branches off of the wreath and kind of tie these together so they were, you know, look fuller, I guess. So I'm just going to twist a couple branches together and fluff. Then we come down here at the bottom and do the same thing. Twist a couple branches together and just fluff. Until I feel like it's secure, twist another couple together and just keep on fluffing until you get it how you want it. And these are really nice little um, wreaths. If you're on a budget or whatever, your first time decorating for the holidays, your first little space or whatever, um, these are great to just grab from Dollar Tree and go. If you're a student decorating your college dorm room or something. But yeah, I like these. Alrighty. And you don't have to just save them for Christmas. You can get these and use them all year round. You can spray paint them or whatever. You know, you're only limited as your imagination. So, kind of putting everything on here. Flipping out. There we go. And you can play with this as much as you want. Get it like you want. So, I'm kind of liking it now. You don't want any 
any holes or anything. So, let's play around. Okay, for time purposes, we're going to move on. So, I'm going to take my little dry flowers here. Or my little faux dry flowers. And I they look like little lavender buds, but I don't know. They're just in the perfect color for me. <laughs> so, I'm just going to kind of tuck these in because... I just want it to look really not so, you know, put together, if that makes sense. I kind of want it to look natural and, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but I just don't want it to look manufactured, I guess. I don't know, but anyway. Some of the leaves are falling off. That shows just how old these are, but it's giving me the vibe I want in that space. So I'm just tucking. And I'm not gluing anything because I do want to recycle, you know, the wreath later, as well as the little floral stems or whatever. So I'm just kind of winding it in, and then I'm going to tuck some of the branches through so they'll secure the stems. There we go. And let's make sure we got this one going right. I'm going to do the same thing to it. I love these. There we go. And then I'm going to take one and put it towards the bottom. Down here. Kind of fluff. I don't want to use like a <clears throat> excuse me a ribbon or anything. I just want it to look like somebody just had a nice little evergreen wreath and stuck some little dried buds or something in it just to decorate with. Okay, and finally we'll add the last one. Okay. And here we go. Just kind of wind it through this you can. Like I said, use whatever flowers, you know, or stems that match your decor and just go from there. Again, you're only limited as to your imagination. Okay. more these fluffed up like it. All right. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame for you guys. There we go. I'm just liking the simplicity of this. Kind of work them a little closer together the more I look at it. Oops, sorry, y'all. Trying to stay in frame. <laughs> And just work it until you get it how you want with, you know, whatever floral stems or picks or ornaments, whatever you decide to put on them. But again, I just wanted this to be as simple and just really cute. So somebody just pop something in. Nice little evergreen wreath or something. There we go. I could do this all day. It's actually kind of soothing. <laughs> Therapeutic. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see. Bend some forward. And here. 
Okay. All right. So I am really liking how this turned out. Yep. I really do. I mean, it was really simple and easy. And it just, it just looks like a nice little evergreen wreath that has some dry flowers stuck in it. So yeah, and I'm gonna show you how I applied it in my um, guest bathroom. So yep, there you go y'all. Super quick, super easy, and uh, cheap. <laughs> for me, super cheap, so yeah. Okay, stay tuned for pictures um, as to how I used it. Okay guys, I am in my guest bathroom and I have hung the wreath on my little um, metal and wood arch that I got from Hobby Lobby. I actually got two of these thinking I could use both in the space, but um, one was the perfect size. Anyway, um, I love how the wreath looks on the arch. It almost looks like a little sort of wrought iron window, if you will. And I thought about adding some fabric to it to kind of make it look even more like a window. But it actually hangs above my favorite spot, my clawfoot tub. This was like one of the selling points <laughs> of this house for me. It has a beautiful clawfoot tub. But anyway, I love how the wreath looks in here. I'm going to give you a full tour once I'm through decorating um, everything. But I just wanted you to see how the wreath looked in the space. Um where I put it and so it works perfectly in here looks really nice um yeah and so it works well with the colors as you I don't know if it shows up but the wall color is this really pretty pale shade of pink um and I love how that sort of aged blue color sort of pops off of the pink. But yeah, everything works really pretty in here. So again, I will give you guys a nice little tour. Um, this is just one side of the bathroom, so I'll make you guys wait. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you like this. Um, tell me down below if you want to see more little quick DIYs like this. Um, not just for Christmas, but for any time. Just let me know down below if you have any suggestions. Um, let me know as well. And again, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can see more things like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.